What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in to Stock Essentials. My name is Alex and today we're going to be going over my Robinhood portfolio and how I grew my account um, yielding a 42% return uh, just over $21,000 in the past year. Um, so I started this account maybe just a little bit over a year ago. So as we can see the all time, it's, uh, it's pretty much the same as uh, the year chart. Um, this tip right here, it's a little glitched by Robinhood. <laughs> I, I don't know why it's showing that, but yeah, uh, overall, uh, $21,000, uh, and most of it's due to compound interest, um, just reinvesting the money, the profits that I gained uh, in order to make this type of return. And I do a lot of safe strategies. Um, I do gamble every now and then, but I, I do lose on a lot of those, uh, such as my previous videos. I made videos on buying those uh, 145 strike call options. Uh, I did that twice in a row for a few weeks, um, and I did lose some money on that. But when I do risky call options like that, I don't put too much money into it. Uh, as you saw, I only would buy one contract uh, each week, uh, which is like $100, $200. Um, that would lose at max. Um, so yeah, I do mostly safe strategies and three strategies I do is um, selling cash secured puts, uh, buying leaps, which is long term uh, equity options. Um, and I also I sell covered calls. It's kind of like the called the wheel strategy. You sell puts um, until you get assigned and then you uh, get assigned shares and then you you sell calls against those shares and then that's pretty much the gist of it uh, until you sell calls until the shares get called away when the stock goes above your strike price um, so that's what the wheel strategy is and that's my favorite strategy um, but normally I just sell cash secured puts favorite strategy I do safe strikes uh, and I do sell cash secured puts on a lot of volatile stocks as well such as AMC, SPCE, Palantir uh, all that sort of stuff and as I can, we can see in my portfolio right now, I'm selling some cash secured puts, uh, just four of them. Uh, one of them is AMC, of course. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty bullish on AMC, and I think a $50 cash secured put uh, is pretty good. Uh, and if we take a look at what it is right now, even though AMC stock has been going down, uh, the, the premium on AMC has has bled out, which means we're up in a profit. So I sold it for around $585. Uh, and right now it's worth $264. So total return right now is $321 profit if I closed out right now. Um, and just to close it out, a cash secure put, you just have to buy back the contract because you're, you're shorting these these puts. You're writing the contracts. Um, so you want the premium to bleed out and you just buy it back at a lower price in order to make a profit. Or just wait until expiration if it expires worthless. Um, so... That's uh, AMC, uh, DraftKings, another volatile stock. Um, the more volatile the stock is, the more premium you're going to collect because um, the options pricings are going to be a little bit higher. Um, we also have a NEO 42 cash gear put. Um, so NEO is another volatile stock. Uh, during the EV craze, uh, during early 2021, a lot of these uh, EV stocks like NEO, Tesla, uh, and all this plug power, a lot of these EV stocks did really well, and ever since then, it's had a little pullback uh, in the market. So I'm selling cash secured puts on that because of the, the pullback. Um, so collecting some premium on that. APXT, it's a it's a, a SPAC that I'm selling a $10 cash secured put. Um, if you're not aware of SPAC, is, it's just a merger company. Uh, so they find other companies uh, to merge with, and it's just a way for companies to easily um, become... Uh, open to the public for trading. Um, it's faster than doing a direct IPO. And so I'm doing a cash here put on that. In APXT, it's it's supposed to merge with uh, Avepoint, which is one of Microsoft's uh, partners. Uh, and then I'm doing some leaps uh, on these stocks. Not going to go too in-depth as it. I don't want to make this video too long, but leaps are just like long-term options, uh, call options. Uh, so I'm doing some of these. Some of them have been doing pretty well, some of them not really. Uh, Palantir uh, not doing too good, uh, but the rest are doing fairly well. Um, and then I'm holding some stocks, uh, not too much. Uh, keep in mind, this is one of my portfolios. Robinhood is for active trading, so I do a lot of options trading in it, mostly selling options. I also have a Roth IRA, 
uh, that I contribute. Uh, I max out every year, uh, and I hold a lot of ETFs and stocks in there. No options trading in that, just buy and hold stocks. Um, and then I have a 401k with my employer. I have about 50k in there. It's just a bunch of mutual funds, uh, so just buying and holding. Um, but yeah, this is my active trading account. Uh, basically, all my excess funds go into here, um, so I'm pretty much growing it. Um, principal is around 50k. Uh, it's actually exactly 50k. So I uh, grew at 21k, and now we're sitting at 71k which is pretty nice. And I didn't add all the money in at once. I <laughs> I slowly averaged in um, throughout the months. Um, so yeah, I didn't just throw in 50K immediately and then start doing this. Uh, I started out with, I think, um, 2,000, and then I, I would add like a few thousand every month. And then here we are, 71,000 <laughs> eventually. Um, so yeah, you always want, when you're starting out, you always want to start out with a small amount of money um, So until you know what you're doing. I know when I first started out, I started losing a lot of money just buying uh, random call options, so that wasn't very fun until I learned about selling options, which is a much safer strategy. Uh, it's consistent, and it's great for your monthly income. Uh, as we can see with my portfolio, it's doing pretty well. Um, so my biggest winners are actually SPCE, uh, Palantir is doing good. Um, so I got assigned shares on these stocks. Um, I sold a 22 cash secured put. Uh, on the stock and then it dipped all the way to like $18. I got assigned $22 a share. Um, so I was at a loss for a while. Uh, and now as we can see, SPC is doing really good. I'm up uh, almost $4,000, which is pretty nice. <laughs> and then just, just this past week. Um, so yeah, uh, I sold a, like a cash gear put around this time, it tanked. Uh, and if you got in around this time, you're gonna be making a lot of money. Uh, as we can see this huge, huge run up. It's almost back at all time highs, it's insane. Um, but yeah, I'm still holding it. I still think for long term it's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, uh, maybe I'll sell some uh, some covered calls. I do think that uh, with a huge run up like this, it's due for retracement. So um, covered call would do pretty well. Uh, and to sell a covered call, you just need to have 100 shares that you just put down as collateral, and you can sell a call. And if it goes, and if the stock price goes above your strike uh, by expiration, then you just sell your 100 shares for. Uh, whatever strike price you're at and of course you just click collect the premium uh, regardless so that's my strategy that's how i grew my account uh twenty one thousand dollars in one year um yeah slow steady gains i do i do a bunch of options trading of course um my favorite strategy is selling selling options uh and then doing long-term calls uh, which is a bit safer um, I don't trade day trade too much. Um, I do some lottery tickets, as you saw in my other videos, the 145 strike calls. Um, but other than that, my portfolio is pretty safe, and the 41% in a year is absolutely amazing to see. Uh, $21,000 is not a small amount to be making, so pretty satisfied about that. Um, yeah, and if you guys have any questions, if you guys want to see more option strategies, please leave a comment down below. Um, I'm be ha more, ha more than happy to explain how options work. Um, I've been trading options for quite a while now, uh, and I study it like every day. Um, as we can see, like I'm making videos uh, two, like twice a day on on stocks and options. So. Uh, yeah, I've, I've gained a lot of knowledge. I know how they work. I know what works, what doesn't work, what's risky, what's safe, uh, and just the best ways to profit off options. Because uh, I do like playing options more than stocks. Um, <laughs> it's a little more active. Uh, and I, it's it, and you can make money in whatever type of market. You can make money when the stock is going down, when it's going flat, when it's going up. So that's why options are pretty nice. Um, yeah, that's about it. Comment down below. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new here to the channel. It helps out a lot. Uh, we make daily videos on stocks and options uh, just for you guys. Thanks for watching.